At long last, it looks like Octopus Energy have some real competition in the electric vehicle energy market. Within the past year or so, we've seen an increase in the number of smart tariffs offered by the big electricity and gas companies. And even a company named after a popular fruit is now in the mix as well. Well, if we've got an octopus, why can't we have a tomato as well? In this video, I'll be breaking down some of the most popular electric vehicle tariffs on the market currently. And after my loyalty to Octopus over the past three or four years, will I be tempted to change to something else? Stay tuned to find out. Hi everyone, I'm Danny V Solar, and on this channel you can follow my journey all things electric vehicles, energy tariffs, solar panels and much more. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to follow my journey and if you find this video useful please give it a like. In this video I'll be looking at Octopus Energy's closest competition on the market and seeing whether or now is a good time to switch to a different tariff. Let's start with the star of the show, Octopus. Over the past few years they really have been market leading in terms of innovative energy tariffs designed for a vast array of use cases. Whether you have solar panels and a home battery, an electric vehicle, a heat pump, or just want a tariff that tracks the wholesale rate of electricity, they've got you covered. While it's not perfect, the customer service that I've experienced with Octopus has been absolutely fantastic. They've always been really quick to respond and the service has been streets ahead from anything else I've ever had from any energy companies on the market. And their amazing smart tariff, Intelligent Octopus Go provides cheap electricity for six hours overnight along with additional hours, depending on when the grid is green as well, uh, for just seven pence per kilowatt hour, which makes charging my Tesla Model 3 around about five pound for a charge from empty to full. And if you have a home battery, you can also charge that on the cheap rate as well, which means you can use a lot of your home consumption on that cheap rate. I'll link a spreadsheet in the description and you can compare all of these tariffs for yourself and decide which one is best for you. But bear in mind the standing charges and the day rates may differ per region and it's likely that these rates will change over time as well. I'm recording this video as of September 2024 so the chances are some of these tariffs will have changed prices over the next few months. Now at long last some of the other energy companies on the market are realising that they need to offer more in terms of smart tariffs with the ever increasing number of electric vehicles on the road as well. And the likes of Eon, Ovo and others are now offering quite competitive tariffs. On the screen now, I've broken down some of the most competitive tariffs on the market at present, and I'll let you all decide for yourselves which one works best for you. So if we take a closer look at this spreadsheet, I've arranged these by the cheapest off-peak price at the top and the most expensive at the bottom. So as you can see, the cheapest now is Tomato Energy. They are offering six hours of cheap electricity at just five pence per kilowatt hour between 12 and 6 a.m. Next is Good Energy, again a relatively small company, five hours cheap, five hours with the cheap rate electricity at a price of just 6.75 pence per kilowatt hour. And again between 12 and 5 a.m. Eon Next Drive offer the most cheap hours at seven hours and that off-peak price is 6.9 pence per kilowatt hour and that's between midnight and 7 a.m. Now where Intelligent Octopus Go would usually be at the top of this list in the past, it's now fourth and they're still offering a minimum of six cheap hours. And that price is currently seven pence per kilowatt hour and they offer that between 11.30 p.m. and 5.30 a.m. Ovo charge anytime is for electric vehicles only and this works in a slightly different way. So they offer the cheap hours at any time at seven pence per kilowatt hour and they provide a reduction on your bill depending on when you've charged your electric vehicles. The Scottish Power EV Saver offers five cheap hours at 7.8 pence and again that's between 12 and 5 a.m. British Gas EV Tariff offers again five hours for just 7.9 pence per kilowatt hour again between 12 and 5 a.m. Ecotricity EV Tariff is again five hours at 8 pence per kilowatt hour and that's between 12 and 5 a.m. apart from when the clocks go back and that, then it becomes 1 and 6 a.m. Octopus Go is another one of Octopus's popular EV tariffs and this offers now five hours was previously four hours at 8.5 pence per kilowatt hour and that's between 12.30 a.m. and 5.30 a.m. EDF also offer two tariffs so one is the Go Electric at five hours cheap rate and that's nine pence per kilowatt hour between the hours of 12 and 5 a.m. and then EDF Evolve as well five hours at 11.28 pence from our region between 12 and 5 a.m. And I've also added the current price cap for the northeast where I'm based. So the same rate all day, but this is currently 21 pence per kilowatt hour. So much more expensive than the rest. 
And I've also created this chart as well just to look at and compare the cheap hours and the off-peak price. So ideally what we want to see here is the blue dots quite high up the chart and the red dots quite low down. So as you can see, Tomato Energy there leading the way on the left-hand side. So lots of competition. So overall, what's my thoughts and will I be switching away from Octopus? Well, I think it's fantastic to see the increased competition in the market now, bringing more options to customers and hopefully it starts a bit of a price war in turn as well. I think it's about time the other energy companies offered smart tariffs to catch up with Octopus. The tomato deal in particular is very impressive price-wise, although there is a bit of uncertainty around whether they can maintain this price and also the customer service that they provide is pretty unknown at the moment. So it'll be interesting to see whether they can keep up this rate and also handle the influx of new customers as well. And right now, for a few pence per kilowatt hour difference, I don't think I'll take the risk of switching to a relatively unknown company. There are other factors such as standing charges and the day rate which may differ for each tariff that I've compared on this video, but I wanted to focus on the cheap times when you're likely to charge your EV. So what's my plan then? Well, right now I'm planning on staying with Octopus. As I mentioned earlier, I've always been really impressed with the customer service that they offer. They're still, in my opinion, the market leaders in terms of smart tariffs and electric vehicle tariffs. I don't think there's anyone else offering the intelligence of Intelligent Octopus Go in terms of offering additional windows above and beyond those six hours when the grid is greenest. And I really approve of what Greg Jackson, the CEO of Octopus, is doing in terms of transforming the energy market. There's also other perks such as the Octopus points that they do. And this gives you access to free things such as hot drinks and free cinema tickets as well. Only a small thing, but I think overall it adds up to the overall experience and feeling valued as a customer of Octopus. They're also quite quick to usually respond price-wise as well. So I think we might see some reduction at some point, although not guaranteed. And this was recently demonstrated when they dropped the rates for the off-peak times for Intelligent Octopus Go and their Octopus Go tariffs from seven and a half pence to seven pence for Intelligent Octopus Go and around nine pence to eight and a half pence for Octopus Go. And if you'd like to switch to Octopus yourself for one of these EV tariffs, it'd be great if you could use the code that's on screen now. If you use this, you get 50 pound credited to your account when you join Octopus. And I also get 50 pound as well, which helps to support the channel. Thank you to everyone that's used this code so far. It really is appreciated. Without doubt though, I will be keeping an eye on the competition as time goes on. And if there is a compelling tariff that comes out alongside great customer service as well, I could be tempted to switch. Right now though, I'm staying put. And this is despite my smart meter not working as well, which I might do a video on shortly. If you're interested in seeing more about smart meters and what's happening with mine, then make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up with that. On another note, you may notice that I've given the place a bit of a renovation recently. Let me know in the comments what you think. Hopefully you like it and you might be able to see in the background just over my shoulder there that there's an AI image that I've created of my Tesla Model 3 performance. And whilst I don't approve recently of a lot of stuff that comes out of Elon Musk's mouth, I do certainly love the image that he was able to create and I think it looks great on the wall there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.